Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Oluchi Imo. On this channel, I talk about cake business majorly, but in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to trim and crumb coat a square cake. Yes, just in case you've not seen it before, this is another video for you. In the first video I did, it was a fruit cake, but in this video, I'm showing you how to trim a square vanilla and cookies and cream cake. So please, if this is something you're interested in, you definitely want to keep on watching as we go right ahead. Now the trick remains as always the same. Keep your knife flat on your cake. Keep your trimming knife flat on your cake. And please, by the way, I feel I should let you know that my hands have been washed and cleaned, okay? Yeah, so keep your knife flat on the body of the cake and then trim from one side to the next. Just as you can see, if you can clearly see, I have tried to level my cake so that it is fine. I've tried to level the layers so that it is straight, it is fine, and it is easy for me to trim. So it is okay if you do that. If you feel your levels are not flat enough, you can put some cake crumbs in between to help you level up your layers. Another tip when trimming your square cakes is the halfway trimming tip. So you trim halfway to the top for all four sides and when you're done you flip your cake and trim halfway up again and that way you're trimming from top to bottom but in halves. Do you understand? Let me know if you do in the comments. So now I've done trimming the sides, I'm done trimming all four sides and I'm just trying to still work on my layers. I could see that the side was bent so or two sides were bent so I'm just trying to put my cake crumbs or cake slices, thin cake slices in between my layers so that it is level and it is flat for me to work with. So I flipped and I'm doing the halfway up again. So if you observe, you see that the part I trimmed earlier is what I have towards the bottom now. So that's what I mean by the halfway trimming, okay, halfway up trimming. So I'm going to repeat the same process for all four sides, going halfway up and keeping my knife flat on the body of the cake. So we're done with the trimming, all sides looking neat, flush, flat, and nicely done, okay? So we're done with that and we're going to the next stage. I forgot to mention the stage at the beginning. So I'm going to show you how I dowel this cake, which is what I'm doing now. I'm using a plastic dowel to just put some structure in my cake and so that I have my layers in place. This is very, very important to me for all my cakes. So I dowel all my cakes using either the wording or the plastic dowel depending on the type of cake the height of the cake and where i'm delivering the cake to so that is my compote we're going to the third phase which is the crumb coating so i'm going to use my compote first to help me if you're new to my channel this is something i do for some of my cakes to help me close the seams so that when i cover my cakes in fondant my layers are not peeking through so i'm going to go through this phase of using the comp compote i beg your pardon using the compote and then going in with my buttercream for better understanding you can check out my square cake series on my playlist yes check out my square cake series on my playlist or check out my pillow cake tutorial and you would have a better understanding of what i'm talking about all right
Remember to make your compote spreadable, not too light, not too thick. If it is thick, it's going to pull your cake layers and you don't want that. So make it of a spreadable consistency that is okay or easy for you to work with. Yes, it's not the bench paper, you know. I forgot that at home and just had to make do with what was available. And trust me, it wasn't easy or fun to work with. Now I'm going to go in with my buttercream and repeat the process all over again, spreading it as I go along all over the body. And we're done. So that is how you trim, double and crumb coat a single tier square cake. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel and become a member of the family and drop me a kind comment, okay? And until I see you in the next video, stay happy, stay safe and stay blessed.